Hello and welcome back to the video series of finite element analysis. I am Bhavik Sonerji and today I am going to talk about derivation of shape function in 1D element. So let's get started. So in the previous video, uh, we have defined the relationship between the shape function, the local coordinate system and natural coordinate system and then we have derived the equation for shape function in the mathematical formula. So now let's derive the equation for element stiffness matrix in 1D element. So first of all, uh, we are considering the stress and strain or uh, the stress and displacement relationship. So if I want to give the relationship between strain and displacement, we can give it by this way. So uh, now I want to uh, give the relation for shape function in terms of shape function. So for both these sides, I am dividing and multiplying it by shape function. So the value will uh, remain same. Now this is the stress and displacement relationship. Now let's understand uh, <clears throat> uh, what is displacement first and uh, then we will discuss the shape function and then we will derive uh, the relation between those two so starting with the displacement so displacement is shape function into displacement at node number one so this is my equation number one same for uh, in the previous videos, we have derived the equation for psi. What is the value of psi? You can see here. So from this equation, we can write the value of psi. This is my second equation so if i want to find the derivation differentiation of this with respect to x so differentiate this equation with respect to x we will get value like this so taking consideration of dx the equation will become x2 minus x1 divided by 2 So this is nothing but the length of the element so dx is equal to length of the element divided by 2 here into tan e so this is my equation number 3 so i am going to use this dx value Now the shape function uh, 
let's come back to this equation shape function so instead of n1 we can write uh, this equation n1 is equal to 1 minus psi divided by 2 and for n2 1 plus psi divided by 2 so by taking the value by putting the value here into q1 plus instead of n2 we can write 1 plus psi divided by 2 into q2 now we differentiate uh, this displacement with respect to psi so we will get minus q1 plus q2 divided by 2 so now uh, combining the results of equation 1 and equation 2 and uh, putting this value so here is the first component for example in this equation the first component is here which is denoted by equation 4 first component and uh, the second component is denoted by this equation So by combining these two, we can write minus q1 plus q2. Now instead of uh, this x2 minus x1, we can write it in notation of capital B and uh, here instead of uh, q also we can write. So this is nothing but 1 by x2 minus x1. and q common here minus 1 to 1 the close bracket so this is in the matrix form now here is the strain energy so now we want to uh, establish the strain energy the total strain energy so let's find out what is total strain energy that is denoted by capital u and it's the integration uh, like this stress transpose component component into dx so this is the total strain energy over the entire domain the strain the cross section area and the stress produced so now we put the value of uh, strain here So as we have seen, E can be represented in terms of B and Q. So instead of writing E, we can write A will remain same. Instead of E, we are writing B into Q 
and uh, trace instead of trace we can write b into q into l b into q but here the transpose in the transpose form into dx now instead of dx we have derived this equation equation number 3 instead of dx we can write in terms of de so let's uh, change it in terms of de so strain energy for element is 1 by 2 q transpose taking we are taking out the q transpose a is common uh, for element instead of dx we are writing here our uh, stress is equal to modulus of elasticity into strain and the strain is equal to we are writing in terms of b and q so here uh, this e will indicate the elasticity so limit will be from minus 1 to 1 and instead of dx we can write dx equal to le divided by 2 into de d psi that we can see here we have derived this equation so instead of dx i am writing in terms of le divided by 2 into p psi into q so ultimately we have to integrate it from minus 1 to 1 so 1 by t q t cross section area of element the modulus of elasticity of element and over length we have to do it so we have taken like this here the vector will be like minus 1 to 1 for le and minus 1 to 1 for e into q so ultimately combining this both vector strain energy or uh, element stiffness matrix we can get is e e by l for single element and uh, here the matrix 2 cross 2 2 matrix we will get so the strain energy for element is nothing but 1 by q q transpose into element stiffness matrix into q so here the case element stiffness matrix is a e by l for each and every element for single element into 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 
So this is my element stiffness matrix. So this is how you can derive the element stiffness matrix. Uh, hope you find it useful. Uh, in next video we will start the numericals or the practical examples of 1D element. So till then, bye.